Hey Creator Crew, welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, consider clicking that subscribe button and ringing the bell. And don't forget to turn on mobile notifications so you're alerted to future content. In this video, we are talking custom URLs and I'm gonna show you how you can set up a custom URL to point to your channel even if you don't have 100 subscribers. I'm gonna give this to you short and sweet and not waste your time, so please stick around to the end of the video to make sure you don't miss any important details. All right, so if you don't know, when you reach 100 subscribers, that qualifies you to get a custom URL on YouTube. Instead of having YouTube.com and a bunch of letters and numbers, you can actually have YouTube.com slash your channel name. But what if you could make an even more custom URL and link it to your YouTube channel regardless of how many subscribers you have? It's very easy to do. It's also very affordable. And I'm going to show you exactly how it works and how you can more easily share your YouTube channel with others with a custom URL. Let's jump on the computer and I'll show you how it works. All right, so normally when you create a YouTube channel in the beginning, you're going to have a link or a URL that looks like this. It's youtube.com slash channel slash this big jumble of letters and numbers. Now this channel area may also say user if you created your YouTube channel on your main uh, Google account versus creating a separate channel account, but this is typically what it looks like. When you reach 100 subscribers, you're allowed to get a custom URL. So for my channel, for example, instead of it being that big long list of letters and numbers, it's youtube.com slash creator fundamentals and it brings you to the same place. But what if you wanted to create a URL for your channel before you reached 100 subscribers, where it's very, it's very possible to do. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do it. And we're gonna head over to Namecheap to show you exactly how it works. So Namecheap is a hosting service and also a domain registrar where you can actually go and get any URL that you want that's available. So in this case, if we wanted to create a custom URL for our YouTube channel uh, and we came in here and said, hey, I want it to be watchmyyoutubechannel.com. This would tell us whether or not it's available and it tells us right now that it's available for $8.88 per year. There's actually a promo code here. Uh, we're gonna copy that and we can actually get our first year for $6.45, so that's a pretty good deal. But in this case, we're gonna say, okay, we want watchmyyoutubechannel.com to lead to our actual YouTube channel. So we're gonna add this to cart and we're gonna get rid of that and then we're gonna come down here and check out and then everything looks good. We don't really have to touch any of this. It's all pretty basic when you get a URL. And then we click confirm order. It's gonna bring you through payment stuff. Uh, I pay with PayPal, but you can pay through any means that you want. So we're gonna go ahead and click that. And then that pops you back to Namecheap and it goes through the process and registers that domain. And then it says, thank you for your purchase and now you have a domain. But how do you take this domain and actually point it to your YouTube channel? Now it may seem overwhelming or you may not know what to do, but this is super easy. Once you've done this, you just click on manage and it brings you to the screen that talks about your new URL. And then down here, it says redirect domain. And it says your source URL is watchmyyoutubechannel.com and it goes to www.watchmyyoutubechannel.com. What we're gonna do is come over here and uh, I'll bring the original one just in case that's what you're dealing with. We're gonna copy this. We're gonna mute my big mouth there. And then we're gonna hop back over here and we're just going to clear this out in the destination URL paste that URL of our channel in and then hit the save button. All right, so if we come in here and we type watch, whoops, watch my YouTube channel.com and hit enter. Now it redirects to the YouTube channel. So regardless of how many subscribers that you have, you can always set this up to create an easy way for you to share your channel with others. If you have a funky name or if you're just starting out, it may be hard for other people to find your channel initially. And if you wanna share that channel with people, this makes it really simple. You can come up with a catchy name, something related to your brand that you've established on your channel and you can share that URL. I actually use this approach in a number of different ways. I use it to easily allow people who 
I want to attract to my content and offers uh, to be able to get there in the easiest way possible. So if you have an affiliate link that you share with people, you can also use this same approach and create a catchy URL to give to them instead of a long winded affiliate link. So you can grab any YouTube channel or website and use a catchy name to drive people to that page. As you continue to grow here on YouTube, you're gonna to wanna to start live streaming to share live time with your audience, to engage with them, to interact, and to be available for your community. One of the great ways to do that is with Restream. If you're looking to take your live streams to a professional level, then I highly recommend Restream. You can go over to tryrestream.today and get set up with one of their paid tiers. At the professional level, you're gonna get access to Restream Studio Pro, which is gonna let you customize your graphics and logo so that your live stream stands out from the crowd. And even better, if you choose to pay yearly, you're going to save 20% off your subscription. Plus, if you use my referral link, tryrestream.today, you're going to save an additional 15% off that already discounted subscription. Go live and level up by visiting tryrestream.today. How easy was that? Don't let the learning stop here. I'm going to put a video on screen now that can help you continue to grow your channel here on YouTube. I'll see you in the next video.